So if you look closely, you can see where the epoxy is not actually adhering to the surface of the inside of the bowl. So it's going to take two, maybe three coats, and you can see here where the epoxy has dried, and there's patches there. So key here is to um, scuff up the uh, surface so it provides a key for the next layer of uh, epoxy. Don't just layer one layer on top of another. You've got to uh, stand between. I go 240 grit. Um, just a, a scuff up and uh, then take it over to um, put on the next layer of epoxy. Now here's a tip, um, don't use uh, alcohol to uh, take the dust off of the uh, epoxy. It does react with the epoxy so be very very careful there. I'll use an air hose as you see here and blast out any of the dust particles that are embedded after the sanding operation. Now take this opportunity to encourage you to subscribe and like my videos. It does help my channel. What I do here with these, uh, the very cheap disposable brushes, um, pull out all the hairs you can, then use CA glue down the base of that to make every last one of those hairs stick. You simply do not want to get one of these hairs in your epoxy layers. 
because um, it's there for good. There's no getting out of it um, other than really trying to make a dog's breakfast of the whole uh, project. So use that CO glue on the bottom, give it a, a bit of a fixed spray, and um, yeah, you're not going to have too many hairs in your project. So my new go-to resin product is uh, Let's Resin. It's great stuff. Um, comes in one, one and a half, two gallon containers, and uh, mixing 50-50. I mainly use this uh, casting epoxy in my projects, certainly from now. Use it also as tabletop because it's self-leveling. Let's Resin gives you um, a few of these uh, clear plastic uh, cups and they're graduated. So um, this particular mix I'm doing uh, six uh, fluid ounces, three plus three, and it's uh, a spot-on mix. Another quick tip is uh, don't mix up the caps for the, each of the uh, containers, the uh, one gallon containers in this case. Otherwise you're going to have one bottle going off hard at the cap. Using a wooden spatula I keep mixing this until it runs into a very clear consistency. It's misty from the very start when you start mixing the two together then it comes up clear so it's ready to go. When applying the epoxy start at the bottom of the bowl and apply it liberally. Keep applying until you can feel no drag on the actual surface as you're applying that epoxy. Just use it very, very liberally so that you're covering every last spot. Being this is the second coat, um, it's going on a lot easier rather than straight onto the wood. And once finished with the second coat, I'm placing it onto the barbecue spit to have it rotated and for at least 24 hours so it all dries. Hopefully it comes out really nice on the second coat. If not, then the third coat is in order. So guys, thanks very much for watching my video. I'm at the end here, I'm going to um, just leave some you know, cool shots so you can see the finished bowl. Um, the foot needs to be still taken off and uh, the maker's badge applied. But at this point of time, I've got to get this video uploaded for you guys to see. So there won't be any stills at the end of this video, but um, you'll be able to see exactly how it all came out. Any questions and comments, just put them into uh, the area below. Um, keep in mind that uh, Let's Resin is offering a 10% uh, affiliate discount. Yes, I do get a small discount uh, myself. Um, if you guys uh, use my links there provided, please do. It helps my channel again and keeps these sorts of videos uh, coming your way. All of my um, projects are available on my Etsy store. Also a link below for that too. Um, yep. Yeah. Just uh, sit back and enjoy as you see uh, the final bubbles removed with the flame and uh, great stuff. Thanks for being with me. Next time guys, cheers.